Good morning. I am going to do a recreation of this look that I did yesterday uh, in New York City on Haley. Uh, that was my hand in my brush painting her lip. Uh, and I'm going to recreate this exact look for you right now. Let's go. So whenever I do Haley's makeup, we always start with delicious skincare. Um, she actually does her own skin prep. And yesterday uh, she used the radiant, the, the milk from Road and the, um, the lotion from Road, but not the serum. So I'm going to do the same steps. And just sort of smear this lightly everywhere for a gorgeous glow and it really does give you the most gorgeous gorgeous radiant sheen and then a little bit of this on top tiny amount just on the high points of the face like that hi rub it in real well and then what's left goes into my hands or the chest or the shoulders of the subject and then to create that strawberry glazed sort of donut look, uh, I use some cream blushes. I think these are Makeup by Mario. They are. I use the Makeup by Mario, this color, um, which is called Raspberry. And I just sort of scooped a little out on a spatula and saturated it into my brush. And I actually did the blush first. Haley's skin is so, so, so perfect. She barely needs any concealer. She had a tiny little breakout here that I covered. And I like to just add concealer to her skin um, just to sort of like almost cohesify the look, but she really doesn't need it. Um, and I think she prefers her skin kind of left quite natural anyway, which is great because it means really, really easy makeup application for me and minimal sort of upkeep. So anyway, the reason why I'm putting blush down first is because it allows for me to go a little heavier with the blush and let it kind of almost look like it's coming within from underneath the foundation or concealer that I'm going to apply next. And my next step was Hyper Shine Highlight Pigment from KJH brand in the light pink shade sort of over the top to give more radiance even though the skin is already very radiant this just gives us like a different kind of radiance than what skincare can do um it gives you more of a sheen and a little bit more of that makeup -y look um uh, without looking like you've got makeup on it's just more of a sort of pretty i prime with this in, in a sense before makeup because essentially the more light reflecting products that you can use throughout the makeup process whether it be skincare whether it be highlighter um it's, it kind of actually limits how much concealer you find yourself using because your skin is looking even more perfected with the use of highlighty glowy products. Um, and so if you don't like foundation or you don't like to look like you've got a lot of makeup on your face complexion wise, this is a really great hack. So this is the rose ink bronzers that I have in my kit. This is just a Muji palette and all of these kind of pop out so you could create one big palette or six individual shades. Um, I used Seychelles on Haley yesterday. I'm just gonna work from my personal one um, as opposed to taking some from my kit. And my personal one looks like this. And I did exactly the same method that I would typically do on myself. I just did a little subtle sort of contoury situation in here. And then I also really like to take it across the lids just to give a kind of sun-kissed sun glow to the face, a little on the nose too. And if the hairline is sort of exposed, I'll always go into the hairline just to, again, make it look a little bit sun-kissed like you've been in the sun and sort of, you look really glowy and radiant. Yesterday's event was between um, Road Skin and Krispy Kreme and the flavor, the strawberry flavor was inspired by the strawberry glazed donut from um, Krispy Kreme and I got to eat one fresh off the line and it was delicious. My next product is gonna be the Nabla Close-Up Lip Shaper. This is a nude number five. I'm using pretty much everything that I used from my kit on Haley yesterday. Um, the only thing that's changing is the complexion shades. And so we used this because we wanted a slightly contrasty lip liner because we knew we were gonna have like a berry toned lip. And so we went in with this and sort of just created a shadow just to blend into the lip to then let that red lip that we're about to apply next pop and the version of this makeup that I'm going to show you is actually the last look of the day which is when I used a little bit of this Urban Decay lipstick I wish I had used something better than a sharpie on this this is a bunch of Urban Decay lipsticks that I palletted for my kit once it is the most beautiful shimmery red that I used on Hales yesterday and I think it is just the most gorgeous color I don't even know whether you can still get it um but like check it out it's just so pretty and perfect and so the method to this makeup look truly was get all of the colors on, get all of the contours on, do all of the details and then do concealer last. So this is my actual mascara that lives in my kit for Haley, and I have um, pretty much a mascara for all my clients with their initials on it so I know whose is whose. So I prefer to just work from the wand, it's so much easier. Um, this is mine, um, it doesn't have my initials on it because it lives at home, but basically what I do when I am going to add a liner um, that I want to be sort of very subtle and just eye elongating is I do the mascara first. Um, and I did this on Hales yesterday. I did her mascara. 
and then I actually did the liner after the fact once the mascara had dried so I'm gonna do my mascara and leave my liner till in a moment and I'm probably gonna work with complexion in a second so my complexion routine for Haley, I'm gonna keep pretty similar to how I'm gonna do mine right now I did not use this concealer this is just my pre my preference for this kind of look if I'm very dewy I like to sort of go a bit more matte in the t-zone and this is the NARS uh, Café Olé shade of the Soft Matte Complete Concealer and I literally just dusted barely any product on a brush and just sort of skimmed it around a few areas um, just to allow for all of these little bits of contour and blush to pop around the eye just to let the eye pop um, just to really keep the skin looking like skin and let that sort of skincare from Rode and the highlighter to do their job and do half the work for me um, and it truly does make makeup so easy when you prep sort of with dewy products, whether it be from your skincare or highlighters. Like I don't think I need much more than that. So the main event yesterday was the Rode Lip Balm in the strawberry flavor. It's so good. I think it might be my favorite flavor so far. It's just not overpowering. And that's what I think is really, really, really smart about all of these flavors. That's just one lip. They're just like a perfect sort of hint of flavor. And it doesn't have pigment, so it allows for you to cocktail, cocktail with whatever color that you want underneath. And that's kind of the lip look that we did. And then um, after lips, and sort of when we were kind of finished with everything else, Haley used freckle pen on herself to just define her own freckles. And then I kind of went in and added a few. So we sort of just went very much around the nose uh, and sort of enhanced those ones that she naturally has. And then we also enhanced the ones that are like more of a beauty mark. And... Um, Kind of left it at that the reason why we do this after concealer is because we want them to look sort of fresh and a little bolder adding a few more perfect so for liner yesterday i actually used an eyebrow liner to create the wing that we did on Haley, and just sort of by layering it gradually it's a blonde color it actually makes like an amazing amazing wing just popping it on to a subtle point and we pretty much kept the makeup the same all day. We just enhanced the cheek and the lip at points just to make it pop a bit more, depending on what she was wearing or whether it sort of sunken in and sort of been wiped away from lunch or just the weather. And the thing that I love about using a freckle, freckle like an eyebrow liner as mascara, as an eyeliner, is it really does give you this like subtle transfer which kind of just looks even more natural like it's like your eye shape just does that and then we powdered and we just did a little around the mouth and the eyes and the nose to let the shine and the skincare and the highlighter sort of just glow and this is the look in a nutshell but kind of like a deeper dive to it if you wanted to skim it over the highlighter if you wanted to skim it over the highlighter you could and if you also want to blend further in, you could. But I think what's really fresh about this sort of strawberry look is that it gives you just a really pretty glow from within that lets you sort of just look like your best self. So that's really it. That's the look. I hope you liked it. If you try it, let me know what you think. Um, and uh, yeah, if you haven't tried Road Skincare yet, maybe now's the day. Bye.